every time. All right, boys, big upgrade today for the E36. Finally, haven't worked on this car for a bit. It's been just been too hot. It's been 90 plus every day. The car doesn't have AC, and I can't stand to drive it when it's that hot. But regardless, still gonna do some mods. So as you guys saw from the title of the video, it's getting a digital dash from Holly, and it's gonna mate up perfectly with the Terminator X that I'm running on it. In addition, I got a gauge cluster lock-off plate. Kind of expensive for what it is. Kind of cheap. We'll see how the fitment is. The seven inch digital dash. There it is. It's actually a really, really good size. Could it be wider? Yes, but it can't be any taller. And if you look here, you could see, and I'll show you in the car, like it barely fits in there at all. Now for speed, what am I doing for speed mile an hour, you ask? Well, that's probably guessed it. Holly sells just a simple GPS, just plug and play, plugs right into the USB of the digital dash. Yeah, it's got a magnet on it. I gotta figure out where I'll stick it, but that's how it gets speed. It'll be accurate regardless of tire size. It's gonna look super, super nice in there and it's gonna perform really well because right now, of course I have the stock cluster in there. Fuel gauge works, speedometer works, RPM slash tack sort of works. It's not accurate. It reads way higher than what it actually is. Coolant does not. And I just had the, I already took this off. As you guys saw, I had this mounted with double-sided tape right there. Just so I had some sort of display. This is obviously going by by now because we're gonna have the whole digital display up here. So first things first, I'm gonna pull the old gauge cluster out. You know what makes this real easy is having this quick disconnect steering wheel. Like I can just like almost pull the thing right out. Of course there's no screws in it. That was easy enough. All right, now I've got to trace the wire that the small screen connects to, because that's the same connector that connects to the big screen. And I don't really remember where I ran that wire, so. Got the old one, the old screen out. I just basically have to feed this wire back through there down and up to where the gauge cluster is going to sit. It's a tight spot though. Easier said than done. I'm going to have to take the glove box out. And also while I was down there, I've never changed my cabin filter and I go to pull it out and it's of course disgusting as you would imagine. So one of these is going to be on order. Routine maintenance while doing digital dash installs. Makes sense, right? I can get it from here, dum dum. <laughs> My hole's right there. Beep. Sweet. There you are, little buddy. Can is plugged in. Cool. Next step run more wires. I am hot. Every time. I do that every single time, like an idiot. I'm gonna run one of these USBs, or actually probably both of them, just here near the center console. And I'll end up being able to access them for USB, data logging, all those fun and good purposes. For now, let's plug it in, see what happens. thing is freaking sweet. So many gauges. I have to make room on this for the wires to pass through. It's gonna sit right here, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna notch out a little bit underneath, not in the middle or anything, just on the way bottom. Not the prettiest thing, but that's really all I needed, just a little hole, and that's 100% covered by the digital dash itself. So let's see how it fits, moment of truth. I really don't know if this is gonna fit. I keep 
in mind, I am going to mount this, but for now, um, there's going to be additional wiring going up throughout. For now, I mean, the thing literally just sits in here, like, really well. And she ain't going anywhere. But yes, I will properly mount this eventually. Make sure she still works. Yes, sir. Bye. Let's clean this all up. Really test it out. stuff to do but they're time for that now yeah to test it out actually, i actually have a new piece to go in there because the old one was cut up old with a hole new no hole all right boys dash is fully installed car is facing the wrong direction before i get too far let's throw a new cabin air filter in because this one is disgusting I venture to say that I'm gonna get a lot more fan speed because it did it wasn't very powerful. I thought I used the fan because it doesn't currently have AC. Definitely need to vacuum that thing out. That's gross. That's done. I'll check fan speed in a minute. Uh, I do still have this old cluster here. Not sure if anyone would want it. Like it is a it is a genuine M3 cluster, like it's definitely, it's probably, probably worth some money. Yeah, that's fine, you can get these anywhere. For real those guys, this thing didn't work right. The needles weren't quite lined up, it has some kind of backing on it that's no good, like, it's, it's junk, don't worry. I wouldn't just wreck a perfectly good part. Not only that, the LCDs were out, like, it's, it's, it's just crap. Alright, let's check out this cage cluster, you guys are going to like it, because, well, I love it. Thing out, boys. Oh yeah, it blows way better than before. Here it is, so I pretty much had this configured how I want it. I have an odometer set up, I put three miles on it already, but this is generally how I like it. There's a million things to do with this. This middle section is RPM, which you'll see when I start it. These bars up here are RPM as well. I have manifold, air temp, uh, air to fuel ratio, oil pressure, water temp, battery voltage, odometer, um, this is GPS status. This is just showing that that GPS that I put up there uh, right now doesn't have service. Obviously, we're in a garage. But the GPS does work. That's the speed right there. I'm sure I'm going to play with this a lot more, but I really like how it's set up currently. Infinite things you can do. I mean, you can do all of these you can change. Like, if you look at that little foot there, that's that's me giving it throttle. This one, I like this one a lot, but I kind of messed it up. I had to, like, reset it or something because I wanted to put something else over there and I messed it up. But... This might be the other one I use. Those are the those are the two best ones. Kind of old school gauges here. Again, you can do anything with this, guys. This thing is awesome. And the fact that it's touchscreen just makes it that much better. So this is my favorite by far. A couple things I'm going to change, but generally this is what I'm going to use. Well, I'll show you how it works here in a bit. Let's go for a little rip. in the way. Now we can let it rip. H cluster, amazing. Absolutely love it. Holly, you knocked it out of the park with it. It is expensive. It's, you know, 
darn near $800 um, plus the GPS module. And then you gotta figure out how to mount it and do all that kind of stuff. But man, it is, it's perfect. It fits perfectly in an E36. It's plug and play with the Holley Terminator X. Fan freaking tastic. So some things I'm gonna end up changing and modding. I still gotta get my E85 sensor working. It's wired up and everything, but I have to configure it and I don't know how to do that yet. I also wanna see if I can add turn signals to the cluster. My turn signals still work. Of course, you just don't know when they're on. And the biggest thing is, at some point, I'm gonna to need to wire up some type of fuel level sensor because I have no idea how much fuel's in it, not, e not even remotely. So next time I go out, I'm just gonna to have to fill it up. That's about it, boys. I hope you liked this video. Hope you enjoyed this quick and easy install. I love it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.